What's up, YouTube? Franchise Sports TV back again with another video. I would say it's the first basketball video of this year. Technically, it was the Ben Wallace, but uh, happy holidays to everyone. Hope you have had a great new year. But uh, also, going back to Ben Wallace, I just released a video about Ben Wallace. It was underrated, in my opinion. Uh, he's not talked about. So I made a whole video about him and most of his career. So you can go check that one out. Uh, so this is something I wanted to mention last year. <laughs> no, actually a couple of days ago. Uh, it was actually after the Bucks game against Minnesota. I wanted to mention this, but I forgot to mention it. Didn't have enough time due to all the festivities of the new year that was going on. But here's one thing. I wanted to talk about. Sure, I think it was last week, Tuesday, almost a week ago from now. Uh, Luca had a 61, 60, 10, and 10 game. Something that probably has, I think, has been never done before and probably won't be. Well, we never know. It might be done again. Who knows? Um, and then he had a 51 point game. I think it was either Saturday or Friday. He had one of those. And everybody was talking about that. Everybody was talking about, ooh, LeBron getting 47 on his birthday against, uh, well, actually, come to think about it, Luka, I think Luka's and Luka's both 51-point game and 60-point game were against weaker opponents. But then again, they're both at the same level to me the Knicks were. LeBron getting in against Atlanta. But anyways, everybody talked about those, right? But for the last six games now, Giannis has been putting up numbers. Now, I know it's going to be some pushback because the pushback will be, they're 4-6 in the last, four, last 10 games. It's true. That is true, but uh, his team is better than what LeBron is doing. His team is better than what Luka has been doing. But you look at the last... Say since New Orleans, the Pelicans game on December nineteenth, Giannis has put forty two. He was forty two and ten, twelve for seventeen against New Orleans. Forty five points, seventeen for twenty seven, fourteen rebounds, four assists against Cleveland, and L Pelicans was a win. Um, against Brooklyn, he was twenty six, nine for thirteen, thirteen and seven. That was another L. Uh, 35, well not 35, that's 35 minutes he played in. 27, 9 for 22. I already called him out for that game. 9 for 3. I mean, not 9 for 3. 9 rebounds and 3 assists. Against Chicago, another L, which I already talked about already. He scored 45, 17 from 39. Had to do everything that game. 22 rebounds. Um, 43 points. 14 for 23, 20 rebounds in 38 minutes against Minnesota on Friday. He didn't play against the Washington Wizards due to knee soreness. Supposedly, I don't think it was knee soreness. It could have been uh, low management. You know, I already talked about how I think low management is a bunch of crap. But anyway, he's been putting on numbers. Now, somebody's going to say, oh, he put on numbers because they ain't winning. You can say that by anybody else. But on the fact that he's been putting up those numbers, he's put a... 40 and 20, which is <laughs> rare these days almost. 40 and 20. Let's see here. I'm looking on stat muse right quick, just to clarify. Um, what is ranking Giannis at? So. Anthony Davis and Shaquille and there are tied for most games with 40 points, 20 rebounds with four games. Right behind them is Giannis with three. They ain't talking about that. Also right behind him is Embiid, uh, DeMarcus Cousins, Charles Barkley, and Patrick Ewing. Uh, let's see here. Only three people on this list have won rings. Shaq, Anthony Davis, and Giannis. The rest have not. 
Um, so yeah, actually, Bird put up one. So that's a rarity for anybody to do that. I think the smallest person on that list. Shoot. <laughs> it might have been. Yeah. Could be Luca. I don't know who. Yeah, it's Lucas, the smallest person on that list at six for seven to put up numbers like that. But nobody ain't talking about it because we know how much the NBA, not the NBA, the NBA media despised Giannis because he never went to a big market team. Never went to a big market team. Some other people said some other goofy stuff about why they don't like Giannis. Like he refuses to wear the dress, yada, yada, yada. I don't think that has any, well, then again, a lot of NBA players wearing dresses these days for what damn reason, I don't know why, but that uh, 40 and 20 is, that's pretty much um, MVP talk, but cause, <laughs> he has to put pull his team up by his bootstraps right now because Chris Milton is now healthy, Drew Holiday is in and out of the lineup, nobody else wants to step up behind him. You might have games with Bobby Porter's, maybe. But during that four-game loser streak, nah, nah, nobody. So it is what it is. Team couldn't even beat. The team couldn't even beat a Washington. Oh, that Washington, actually. That Washington Wizards team is actually not that bad, but I'm just saying. So, anyways, they going to continue not to talk about Giannis. Whatever. It is what it is. But tell me what you guys think.